place if it would stop me. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. I'm afraid so, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time, when I'm feeling up to it. Yes, I suppose keeping it bottled up inside isn't the best idea, now is it? The thing is, well, I lost my husband Thomas last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. He was almost 70, but according to Dr. Manning over at Reliant, he was in good health. Heart attack, my eye. There's no way that's what happened. You're damn right I do. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Oh my, you're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not the only one who sees the problem. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Be careful. Neon is a dangerous place. We sell only the finest goods for the discerning customer. Yes. Can I help you? Quieter. Much quieter. I think dealing with Headlock has convinced Seoka to back off from harassing my shop. And according to what I've heard, everyone else has. This should finally give me the time I need to concentrate on running my business rather than wasting time looking over my shoulder. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. 
You could have just led with that. No need to waste my precious time. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Ah, come on. I'm not risking life and limb to save someone I barely know. There are people that get paid to do that. I'm not one of them, so I simply prioritized my own safety and didn't get involved. A lot of good that did me. It was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. God, no. I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, I tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come to hell. Hey, buddy. Why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. A friend. Uh, an old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from me. I, I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora. And everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm... I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up, I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just... Come on, just let me go. barely have anything what good does this do you know what fine just take it now just let me leave okay oh my god you don't need to worry no one will ever see me again i, I swear it
Yes. Hello. Thank you for doing this. And please, be careful. Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Well, I guess I don't much care for what you did with him, as long as he paid for what he did. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? Yes, you're right. It just boils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served. At least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas.